Hey everybody, it's Charlie Walden again here doing another one of these Saturday morning workshops for the KDHX Folk School and Camp Possum. Let's uh, just say at first the credits for this are due to the KDHX Folk School and the Missouri Arts Council. So we'd like to thank them for their support of this ongoing program at the KDHX Folk School. These virtual lessons every Saturday morning. So let's get right started here and uh, we're going to do a tune, another tune from the Dear Old Illinois Collection. And it's called Walk Old Shoe, <laughs> what a, Walk Old Shoe, He'll Come a Dragon. And uh, I've got dots and I've got mandolin tab as well. So get right with it here. Let's play a little bit of this thing. I've just been messing with this one myself lately. Uh, I want to thank a friend of ours, Kim, out in California for suggesting this tune. It's a good one. Let's see if we can get onto it here. It's in the key of D. So let's, I'll play through it a couple times, then we'll do our little D scale practice, and we'll go through the tune phrase by phrase. How about that? All right, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my eye on the dots, though, so I don't get messed up and, and uh, wander far afield, as, as uh, all of us fiddlers tend to do with the, with the tunes, you know? So let's just play it straight off the page as we can right now. Here we go. As best I can. Here we go. That's Walk Old Shoe, He'll Come a Dragon. In the Dear Old Illinois book, it's uh, credited to someone named Pauline McGinnis. But I took my version I'm playing for you today off uh, an old cassette tape I had from the Merrimack label. You may have some of those cassettes of theirs laying around if you're of my vintage. Uh, from the Volo Bog Trotters. And the cassette tape was called The Backside of Bunkum. Uh, there's a lot of bunkum going on, I think, in there. <laughs> All right, so let's break this thing down now and play the first part. So let me just play through the first part one time here, and we'll go on from there. How about it? All right, here we go. All right, so let's play ourselves now a D scale. So we're going to start on the open D string right here and play up to the... The third finger on the A string, that's the D there, so we're gonna go, and it's two sharps, remember it's F sharp, C sharp. Here, my foot tap. We're gonna go two notes for each tap. Ready, play. Oh, sorry, two taps for each note, not two notes for each tap. <laughs> Ready, here we go. Ready, go.
Come on down. Let's uh, let's play on up from there. So start here and play all the way up to the A on the E string. Here we go. Keep going down. Now play me this A on the G string. So we're going to play now D arpeggio, which is the D's, A's, and F sharp. So it's D, F sharp, A, D. Here we go. the G string. Now catch the F sharp and the A on the E string. So if we go one note for tap, start right here on this A on the G string, ready, go. So let's get right into this tune. There's no pickup notes on this tune. Everything kind of starts right on the downbeat. So if we start out, the first note is the A on the G string, and it's really just a D arpeggio. And then B, A, F sharp. If I say F, I mean F sharp. Play that together. Ready, go. And then the next bar goes. So I'm ending up on a E on the D string. So I'm, and I'm playing a little unison thing. I'm going. I'm going F sharp on the D string, and I'm playing a unison A. So I'm putting my fourth finger on the A on the D string and playing the open A too. Or you can just go, you can just play the open A too. So the last two bars go, that we just played go. So it's F, E, E. Let me play the first four bars of the tune. Let's play that together. Here we go. Get ready? Here we go. repeat there so so it, it repeats that uh, first three bars we played in the last half of the a part so let's do that all the way up to there here we go play with me now and just keep going Sorry, D, D, E, F, D, A, F, E, F, D, sorry. <laughs> you just repeat that. It's hard to say them and play them at the same time. Let me play the first part all the way through, and then we're going to play it together. Here we go.
All right, so let's uh, let's try the whole first part now, and I'm gonna play it slow. You're gonna play it with me. Here we go. Are you ready? We're gonna play it through twice. Here we go. One thing I'm doing is the notes are specifically are bah, like separated, but I'm playing, I'm taking advantage of the open D here and the open A. So I'm playing some kind of drones with it. Just let those other notes, open notes ring. And then playing a unison there, or not a unison, an octave. The D on the A string with the open D. there I'm playing and it's not notated but I'm playing E on the A string E on the D string with the open A now we go on to the second part again there's no pickup notes and we're just going to play uh, first first little, first set of notes is actually actually that octave D open D with the D on the A string and then I play another chord so this is all chords the next chord I play is D I don't move that D on the A on the A string and I play the F sharp on the E with it so it's let's try that so that's an octave D with the with the F sharp then and the D on the A string, and I'm kind of just going, kind of just up bowing those down up up up. You don't have to do that, but that kind of feels cooler. And then open E. played that in the first part. So if you just get this, and then we're using parts from the first part, so. Play through the second part a couple times through slow. I think you're gonna get it because it's just this this octave thing. Open D with the D on the D on the A string. Then the chord, the D with the F sharp, and then. Try that whole thing. Here we go.
I think we're ready to try it together now. I'm going to play through it a couple times slow. All right, are you ready? Here we go. From the beginning. Pretty good job there, y'all. Let's play it a couple more times, why don't we? Here we go. A little bit faster. Hey, y'all done a mighty fine job there.